President Donald Trump arrived at the rally to the usual cheers, but struck a subdued tone from the beginning, calling this a very rough day. Before going any further, I want to address the horrible shooting that took place earlier today. The president called the attacks monstrous. This evil anti-Semitic attack is an assault on all of us. It's an assault on humanity. It will require all of us working together to extract the hateful poison of anti-Semitism from our world. Trump said he considered canceling this rally and one earlier in Indiana based on the attack in Pittsburgh, but then decided to push forward. I don't want to change our life for somebody that's sick and evil, and I don't think we ever should. The rally was scheduled to help Southern Illinois Congressman Mike Bost, who's in a tough re-election fight, but Congressman Randy Hultgren from the western suburbs and Rodney Davis from central Illinois, who were also facing tough opponents, were on hand as well. Conspicuously absent, Governor Bruce Rauner, who rode his motorcycle there but kept a low profile, only meeting with the president in private and then leaving before the rally. The president hit on familiar campaign themes but avoided divisive language attacking his political opponents. And this is the time to renew the bonds of love and loyalty that hold us all together as Americans. These bonds have always sustained our nation in its hour of need. The president also struck a tough tone at one point in the rally, calling for the death penalty to be used for crimes like what happened in Pittsburgh. In hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.